Okay, this video is turning Celsius to Fahrenheit, and uh, again, it's another memorizing pharmacy cal calculations video. Uh, the first thing you want to do is memorize what the normal temperatures are for a couple of instances. Um, you might know from high school, water freezes at zero Celsius, water boils at 100, and then know the Fahrenheit equivalents, 32 degrees and 212. What you might not know are the refrigerator temperatures, room temperatures, normal human temperature, and then what those fevers are. And I recommend memorizing them because a lot of times it'll save you a step or it may even give you the full answer uh, right away to a question that you would normally have to calculate. So refrigerator temperature, 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. It's not exactly 36 to 46. There's some rounding there, uh, but that's about right. Room temperature, 20 to 25. A lot of times you'll see 25 as the number uh, because you want the upper end, um, but that's about room temperature. Uh, human normal temperature, 37 uh, in Celsius and then 98.6 uh, in Fahrenheit. And that's uh, oral temperature, rectal temperature would be uh, a bit higher. Uh, low grade fever, so you're going up to about 38, so 100 to 101. Uh, I skipped intermediate fever, but that would be about 102. A uh, high-grade fever uh, would be 39 to 40 Celsius, 103 to 104 Fahrenheit, and then the dangerous fever, 40 to 42, uh, 104 to 107. So here are the practice questions. I'm just going to do a couple of them and really want to comment more on what makes for uh, good practice in terms of calculations and being very neat with your work. So Sheldon walks into a clinic, 41 degrees Celsius centigrade fever. It's been going on a couple days. What's his fever in degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to have that conversion uh, and we'll use the fraction one now and then we'll uh, use a decimal one in a minute. So nine-fifths times the degree Celsius plus 32. So nine-fifths of 41 is going to be 73.8 plus 32 and then Fahrenheit is 105.8. So clearly a very high fever. But I want to point out here that um, this 9 fifths times C, this is a little bit confusing and sometimes you may want to put brackets here uh, to clarify it and we'll see how we do that a little bit later. Okay. So here's another fever question. Five-year-old girl comes in at the pharmacy with a temperature of 39.2. Parents ask for a medication to reduce her fever. So name some medicines uh, and then convert the temperature to Fahrenheit. So the first thing we would notice is children's ibuprofen, Motrin or Advil are the brand names, children's acetaminophen, Tylenol is the brand name. But what we know do not notice isn't there is aspirin. So again, children's aspirin, something we don't use anymore. You'll see it as low-dose aspirin for patients who are trying to avoid another heart attack or protecting, it's cardioprotective, uh, makes the, keeps the platelets from getting sticky, causing a clot. But what I'm going to do here is add another step, and we'll see right here that we've put it in brackets. So 9 fifths times the Celsius temperature plus 32, 9 fifths times 39.2, and then we get the 70.6, and then we add 32, and then we end up with 102.6. And when, I, when we do that is because we want to be careful not to put the 32 and add it first, uh, we want to keep with that order of operations. Remember the order of operations is that acronym PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Okay, so here we have storage temperature again. Uh, two patients have peanut allergies. Uh, by accident they ate brownies containing peanut butter. I'll put in a link uh, to that video. Uh, and what medication would help them and at what temperature is it stored. So we've got an EpiPen that we would use uh, and that's stored at 77. Again, we're talking about the top end, uh, 20 to 25 degrees. Uh, it can't be stored in refrigerators or vehicle glove boxes. So this is important to note that now we need to be very careful about our storage and so it can't go under 15 or above 30 and having to buy another two pack would cost about $600, so we want to be very careful. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert these Celsius 
degrees from these extremes, the 15 and the 30, so that we recognize it um, here in the states. Okay. So EpiPen can't go under 15. Again, we use these brackets to make sure that we don't get confused and add the 32 somewhere in there. So 9 fifths times its Celsius temperature plus 32. 9 fifths times 15 makes 27. 27 plus 32 is 59. It can't go over 30 degrees, so same thing. We put the Celsius here, and we say 9 fifths times, th times 30 makes 54. 54 plus 32, 86. So now we have the range. It really shouldn't go under 59, above 86. Uh, we can clearly see that putting it in the refrigerator falls outside the range. Uh, we can see that just keeping it in a hot car in summer falls outside the range. So we want to be very careful with this medication and make sure it's stored properly because it is expensive. Let's go on to an even more expensive medicine. So infliximab or Remicade is an IV medication. It's about $20,000 annually. And it needs to be kept in the refrigerator at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. So let's look at that. And what we're going to do is we're going to check these extremes and see what uh, the Fahrenheit thermometer should look like. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take that 9 fifths and we're going to get 1.8 the decimal. And we're just saving a step. Instead of dividing 9 by 5, we can just use 1.8. So 1.8 times the Celsius degrees plus 32, and we keep it in parentheses here. Um, since we don't have that fraction, it's a little bit easier and you don't really need the brackets. Uh, but you can do 1.8 times the Celsius, so 2 makes 3.6 and then we end up with 35.6 degrees and, and we round that up to 36 degrees Fahrenheit. It can't go over 8 degrees Celsius so we do the same thing 1.8 times C, 1.8 times 8 makes 14.4 and end up with 46.4 round down to 46. So somewhere between 36 and 46 degrees a very narrow 10 degree range um, and uh, we want to be very careful with it. Uh, the Celsius range is only 6. So we have one more. Uh, we have a chemotherapy patient that's prescription for nausea medication and was prescribed dronabinol, which is Marinol, and that needs to be stored in a cool place. And that's very tricky because a cool place doesn't mean refrigerator. In this case, it's okay to put it in the refrigerator, but if we had heard that, oh, you want to keep it in a cool, dry place for the EpiPen, we would have ruined it by putting it in the refrigerator. Okay, so we're going to do the same conversions, uh, except now 8 is on the bottom end uh, and 15 is on the top. So 8 degrees, just as we saw before, is going to come out to 46 degrees Fahrenheit. And then 15 degrees, again plugging in the 15 here with the 1.8 uh, to get 27 plus 32 or 59. And we see the range uh, that we should maintain it.